And welcome back. The Durban Playhouse is uh, the venue for today's memorial service honoring the late Mbongeni Ngema, a celebrated playwright and musician. Ngema tragically lost his life uh, last week in a car crash near Bizana in the Eastern Cape. Uh, to provide us with more details on uh, the memorial service, let's now speak to um, Full View presenter Bongo Ezwane. Bongo, good uh, day. Thank you so much for making time for us. Tell us about the atmosphere at the Durban Playhouse. A very good morning to you, Aldrin, and to the viewers as well, coming to you live from the Durban Playhouse Centre. Uh, this is where um, the late Mbongeni Ngema would have really graced these particular, you know, corridors. And uh, the stage as well is set, as I speak to you, with some of the very familiar songs that we remember from the productions like Sarafina, Sinamali. You'd remember some of the famous songs, Lizobuya. Those were songs that we would hear um, being sung, particularly in some of you know the stage plays and you think of, of, of you know plays like Waza Albert, you think of plays like Asina Mali, you think of Sarafina, you think of some of the songs um, that would have been sung, struggle songs as he was using theatre as a form of protest against what was happening during the days of apartheid. Those were songs that uh, you know we have been hearing throughout the day, throughout this morning in fact as they are rehearsing for what they are calling his final show and part of the program um, you can tell that it's it's going to be quite the show that they are putting together for him here at the Durban Playhouse. And this is where, you know, a lot of um, his shows would have been seen by many people as well. And uh, speaking to some of those who will be performing here just off, you know, off camera. And they tell us just how for them it's a bittersweet moment because he's not in the audience to be able to, you know, watch critique and uh, you know give his views on some of their performances today but they say that they are going to be doing as much as they possibly can in his honor and someone who has worked with him very very closely is uh, you know Utem Bandaba who's a film producer and uh, he is someone that uh, you know was telling me off camera Aldrin that he was groomed by Mbong, the late Mbongeni Gema but let's talk to him just about some of you know his recollections the memories of uh, this playwright this legend as we've come to know him, Sebonga uh, Kulu, Mr. Ndaba, for your time. Let's start with, firstly, your reaction to this devastating loss, especially when you think of, you know, the magnitude of the man that we are gathered here to think about, reflect on, and whose legacy we are, you know, talking about today. Yes, um, thanks. Um, yeah, we, um, I'm broken. Like I've known um, um, Majogovo because I used to call him uh, Majogovo uh, or Sibizana Kawe. Yabona Sibizana Kawe, Kawe, hey, Ganjalo, Ganjalo. So um, I met um, Bongeni Ngema in 1991. Uh, that time, uh, that youth of, of that time, all we wanted was freedom. You understand all we wanted was freedom we were not in drugs and all that but all we wanted wa was to see freedom you understand so i met Mbongeni Ngema uh, because i was already in theater that time uh, i was already in theaters about doing st stage uh, acting and stuff and all that then we met, then go by Sarafina. I, I know, I've seen uh, the, the first Sarafina cast, Ope Bitele, and uh, yeah, then Nalababanye, who came after um, Okanyo, Ofata, and all that. So, um, when we, uh, uh, my last time with Mbongen was uh, in December, because we, we, we were working on the project, a, a musical uh, project, um, of O.R. Tambo, uh, it's a musical. O.R. Tambo, it's more like uh, a Serafina because we are looking at O.R. Tambo as our Moses, as our Moses, because he led the African National Congress. He was a, a long-serving president of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the ANC that time. Then he led the struggle to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to the freedom that he never enjoyed you understand so he was like moses uh, israel leading them to the promised land so basically uh, the show was about that i mean it's about that uh, i just hope and pray we, we will still 
continue doing the show, even though with other um, with, with, with other people uh, we, we industry and all that. But we we are yeah. Let's talk about you know just using theatre as a form of protest, as a form of you know speaking out against what was happening at the time. Because you also talk about the freedom and Nkululego that you longed for as the young people of the time. What was the significance and the importance of Uti Nisebenzi said the stage to be able to talk about that? Uh, actually, that, that was uh, and that was the only voice. I mean, to voice out our. Um, our issues, you understand, are with the government of that time. And yeah, as, as you know, we, 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 we had other artists as well uh, abroad, you understand, are pushing the struggle uh, uh, as well. So yeah, that, 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 was the, that was the only way of yeah, showing a, 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 a land. A, a, yeah. And one of the things that, you know, a lot of people talk about is, I mean, you think about the accolades that he got internationally. You think about how Isarafina came about and, and, and even the name when he had gone to London to, you know, to, to, to be with uh, the late Brahu. Let's talk about the, the legacy yeah, and the void that will now be left, especially by his passing when it comes to your own creative sector. Yeah. Hey. Mm. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, Bongen has worked, uh, he has worked um, as, as, a, as a creative. Um, uh, he has groomed a lot of actors, a lot of musicians, people who are musicians uh, today uh, and, and, and all that. So I think, um, yeah. <laughs> I can see it's very hard for you. Gabon, Gabon Akunzi. I'm getting nervous. I don't know why. Gabon Akunzi, Makunzi. Let me ask you to pause for a second. Uh, <laughs> compose yourself. We'll come back. Um, Aldrin, I do have our colleague. Jade Pulser, who is also stationed um, at one end of this particular theatre. This is where, um, you know, I'm right by the entrance where a lot of people will be using this particular entrance. And if I can just step out of shot just for a second, you can see people have already started gathering, um, reflecting, talking, networking, and you can expect these corridors to be very busy because we are expecting the program to start any time after 12. But Jade, I know that you are at a different point of this uh, particular um, you know, particular theatre. Let's talk about what you can see from your vantage point. Well, thank you, Bongiwe, and thank you to the viewers. I've just joined SABC News. I'm coming to you from the theatre side um, inside the Durban Playhouse, and this is where the last show of Mbugeni Ngema is going to be held. It is a tribute to the life and times of this icon of a man that brought us so many theatrical pieces. People have started trickling in by their numbers already, ensuring that they get their seat to this beautiful tribute, and we expect some snippets of plays such as Waza Albert as well as the very famous Sarafina to be played here and we're also expecting several dignitaries but just chatting to some people on the ground in trying to find out more about the legend of the man. I did run into someone very important, someone very special, one of the wardrobe assistants that used to travel the world with the team and I'm just going to bring in Mum Winnie as she is affectionately known. Mum Winnie, thank you so much for joining us um, and talking to us on SABC News. I can imagine it's a very bittersweet moment for you right now. Yes, yes, I'm very, very sad. I'm very sad what happened. It's a shock. Yes. Talk to us about, you know, your relationship with Mr. Ngema and how far back it goes. Um, Mr. Ngema was my boss, I can say that because when he came here at Playhouse, he find me here, I was already working. I was a wardrobe mistress of Playhouse. And then he saw me that uh, I like to do my job with the children. 
So he talked with the bosses across the road, Mr. Maybeck. He would like to take me overseas with the shows. The first show was uh, called Mama. After Mama, we did Maria Maria. After Maria Maria, we did Zulu. And uh, uh, we've been all over the world. We started at Australia, at Perth, 1995. We went at Perth, we went at uh, Melbourne, and uh, we go down to New Zealand. Then when we came back, he told us we must be prepared because he's writing another show. But before that, we must go to Germany. So from Switzerland, we went to Switzerland, and uh, from Switzerland, we go to Amsterdam. Uh, from Amsterdam, we go to, uh, what do you call this place, at Denmark. Well, we come out of that interview, but later on we'll be crossing back to Jade Polsa as well as Abongwezwana on that memorial service to take place at the Durban Playhouse.